Martin here. It's been great this tour in uh, America. Three wins and uh, yeah. Yes. Everyone is aware of Martin Odegaard's excellent passing capabilities, extraordinary technique, and dribbling skills. However, only a few persons have read a detailed version of Martin Odegaard's biography, which is quite engaging. Without further ado, let's begin. El Rey is his nickname, to begin with. Martin Degaard was born on December 17, 1998, in the Norwegian city of Drammen. Lena Cecile and Hans Erik, his mother and father, welcomed him into the world. The son of Lena Cecile and Hans Erik is both a genuine drama and local and a citizen of Norway. He actually has strong familial ties to the nation of Northern Europe, where he is the most promising young player since old Gunnar Solskar. El Rey generally had a contented and materially abundant upbringing. Odegaard's parents and grandfather were in the clothing business while being middle class. After working as a professional for many years, his father also got into soccer management. It follows that the outrageous earnings from the sport enabled Odegaard's family to live well. El Rey joined the neighborhood club Drum and Strong when he was six years old. It's interesting that his parents and others donated a sizable quantity of money to the club to cover their gravel field with synthetic turf. Odegaard's development benefited greatly from the investment because it allowed him to train on the field for countless hours. Little did the footballer's fans know the sacrifices he was making until he eventually made his senior debut for Sturm's Godset. They are old enough if they are good enough, as the saying goes. Martin Odegaard, a teenage wonder kid, wasn't too young to wow the Spanish powerhouses. In fact, while still playing for Los Blancos reserves, he started working out with superstars from Real Madrid's first squad. However, as Rafael Benitez took over the senior setup after Carlo Ancelotti was fired, the excitement surrounding him started to wane as a result of the limited first-team opportunities. Odegaard was moved to the Dutch team Vitesse after appearing to become caught up in what is most appropriately referred to as a lone farm. By scoring 9 goals and registering 12 assists, he impressively established himself as one of the Eredivisie's performers of the season. Mikel Arteta is aware of his past accomplishments and has confidence that he will add the crucial inventiveness the team's midfield sorely needs. Whatever happens in North London, Odegaard, the rest will, as they say, be history.